Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I know that I said I'd be, be intentional about posting more videos like this, but life has been crazy, as you could imagine. I'm about to release um, a new album, launching pretty much a ministry with just my music and my speaking. So I've been kind of busy. Um, but... I am, I really need to get some of these videos out. I have a heart to, to just have these personal talks with you guys, let you know the stuff that God's been doing in my life, the nuggets he's been depositing in me, and hopefully it can be a blessing to you. So my question is for people that have that entrepreneurial spirit, uh, those that are, uh, I know there's a lot of millennials that, that are just like, that that have that that want to create that want to build that want to make something that want to make a difference in the world and that's myself as well um the lord has just deposited so much in me and i want to share that with people but in order to do that it takes people it's like you know they say it takes a village to raise a child well it takes a village to to launch a child you know which is like a dream and a ministry and and dreams that you feel like God has given you. So it's like, ooh, a lot more. <clears throat> um, but I wanted to ask a question. What do you do when you have a need and people have said they would fulfill that need, but you notice that if that person fulfills the need, then they might suffer, then a little bit of their own growth might suffer, or they're in a season in life where times are hard and they probably should be seeking the Lord more and not working for the Lord so much. Just recently I was put in that position where a dear friend of mine, um, I realized, just was at a place in their life where they just really needed to focus on what God had called them to do. And yes, of course, there's such a need on my part. Um, you know, we're launching all of this and I need all hands on deck, all boots to the ground right now to really just make sure that we're doing this the way God has, has said to do it. And um, I had a video conference call like I've been doing uh, one after the other recently because I have so many contacts that are not in the state um, of New York and, and you know, this business still got to get done and you still got to be able to communicate with your team and pour into your team so I was put in that position and you know immediately um it's like the spirit of God just quickened me and let me you know it made me feel a love more for that person than for myself and I know that's a hard thing to do especially this day and age where everything is about you and, and getting to the top and how can you succeed but as a Christian <clears throat> and as believers we're not called to do that we're called to to, uh, you know, to, to community, to unity, to have such a vertical, a relationship vertically so strong with God that it's spilling over to our horizontal life. For me, it's a no-brainer. You know, my friend was not in a place where I felt like they were focusing on their own well-being and their own um, uh, spiritual health, uh, uh, health. And although I had a need, I had to make the better decision to just tell my friend, to focus on their need and um, and really just not worry about whatever my need was. So I just want to encourage anyone out there who's an entrepreneur, who has that vision to just want to do things and you have a team of people, be sure to always take inventory. Uh, make sure that your team is, is in a good place because when they're good, they'll be able to help you even better. But more than that, just like Christ did when he talked about the, the uh, having 99 sheep and going after the one that was lost, the way he had a heart for that one, I think we have to be very careful to not get so caught up with the success and the, the, the popularity or whatever it is of the 99 that we forget about the one. So just an encouragement to any entrepreneurs out there, any people that are owning a business or running a ministry or even a family, make sure that every single one uh, is doing good because I feel like that's the heart of Jesus for us.